Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we're going to try try this one. Okay, so let's start. So uh, we're going to use a pattern based family. So first, we we need to to create a pattern based family. Um, so we can use this one, curtain panel pattern based. And so first, we need to choose a pattern, right? So let's have a look. So this is. Uh, what we need. Let me just do increase the size of this. Uh, do a screenshot of this part. Okay, so to um, you might think, okay, so this is apparently it's a triangular shape, right? But the issue is, um, so you, as actually you can see this, uh, you know, uh, there's a positive, so so it's just uh, um, on the on this direction, and then uh, these are the uh, the different opposite direction. So, if we use a, a pattern, if if we use the triangular, so if I go there, so you might think that uh, we can use triangle. And the issue is all these. Um, if we do like uh, do a di uh, offset uh, direction, they uh, I think they will all be the same. So it will only one one direction so what we need to do uh, is instead of you know treat this triangular shape as uh, individual we need to treat the treat them so these two so one is so let let me call this positive negative treat this as one so eventually uh, it become uh, um, more like a this type of pattern okay so let's go back and so i think um um which one which one we, can we use okay rhomboid so i think we sh we should be able to use this one so one two three four and we just need to add a line between them so let's just do it quickly uh Select point two and four. Create a spline, reference line. Okay, so now we have two uh, triangular shape. So now we need we need to find another point. Okay, so for this point, um, I'm going to use uh, maybe just let's use use a point on the, here. Uh, this is for this triangular, and we we're going to place another one. So this is for this one. And so, and then we can select these two, create a lock, and place it, uh, make it reference line. Okay, and then create another one and make it reference line. Okay, then we can place another one. Use draw on face and place onto this, and then uh, we can play then place another one. Use draw on word plan and tab select this point and place onto this point. So now we can use this point. And so let's just do it, uh, offset it, okay? So, and then we can just place up another point onto this reference line. Oh, sorry, wrong one. So you can see it's a, it's a big point. No, that's, that's not right. Delete, place, and use draw on face and place onto this reference line. And once again, draw on, uh, place another point, you draw on work plan, set work plan, tab, tab, pick, and place. And place OK, click OK, select this point, so go up that way. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, for those offset, I'm going to select um, them, so to create a parameter. So let's just click on this and use um, create a offset. I'm going to. Sorry about that. Um, offset, offset. Uh, so this will be the <laughs> offset. Uh, yeah, let, let's just use one. Okay, so and I'll use instance and OK and OK. Um, and that's uh, that's a point. And then we need we just need to add some more uh, ref. Um, um, parameters so for example this one so this is control this line and then we 
we can add another um, parameter to control this. Okay, so let's do it. So this will be, uh, let's call it, so these are all uh, normalized um, curve parameters so, uh, from 0 to 1. So we can just call or create a new one. So let's call it n, maybe n1, n1 instance, and OK. And I'm going to use this one, n, uh, n, n2 instance, OK. So now we have two parameters to control the location of this point. Of course, we have also have the offset, right? So but this is, so if, if in a, like a plan view, this is where this point uh, will be, so N1 and N2. So let's do the same, so this one will be N3, so create a new one, N3 instance, and this one will be, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> select this one, and this one will be N4. N4 instance, OK, and OK. So, and yep, and that that's all. And then we just need to create those shape. Okay, so select those po points and make reference line. Point one, um, another two points. Create reference line. Oh, sorry, this one's just make sure they are all reference line. And this one and this one. Okay, and then this one and this one. This one and this one this one and this one okay so and then we can uh, select them make them all reference line and then we can one two three we can create a surface so I'm not sure which one maybe the one on the right yeah so and then tab select one two three create a form the one on the right okay tab Control tab, control select, one, two, three, another one, and one, two, and tab, control select, and then another one. One, tab, oh yeah, two, and three, another one, and the last one, tab, control select, tab, control select, and control select. Okay, so now we have all the shape, all the surface, right? So um, we can have a test here if you select this grid. So you can change, so for example, I'll change this one to two meter, uh, maybe this one to three meter, and the other one to two meter. Yeah, so it works. And also you can, you can test, you can test the parameter here as well. So for example, the height. So if, I, if you want to increase the height, yeah, and then these are the um, the parameter. Let's try 0 0.2 for example. So this will move this point, right? So move this point point on this reference line, and then point uh, um, um, maybe two again. So this one move it to that end. Move move this point to that end. This one uh, point uh, three maybe. So yeah, and point maybe eight. Yeah. So. That's it. So this will change. So it will change the shape of this um, a geometry. Okay. So now this pattern base based family is finished, and when can we can have a test? And uh, we're going to use conceptual mass because um, because we're going we're we're going to try Dynamo, um, and uh, Dynamo won't work on. Um, in model in place mass, so we have to use mass, a uh, uh, conceptual mass. So in this uh, conceptual mass, we're going to just draw a line and just create a form and select it, unlock it, and select the top, and then we can just increase the height. Now we have this facade, okay? So, and then select this surface, and then we use divide the surface, and then we can change the, oh, change, oh, we can just, oh, load this one so let's load this one into here and select this divided surface and then we can f we should be able to find you should be able to find that uh, under this uh, category so the family just build right so okay so it looks like um 
the relative to the size of these patterns, the height, the offset is not big enough. So it's very quite flat, right? So and then and also um, we might want to rotate this one. Let's try rotate it by 90 degree. And also we might want to try um, and try different uh, different size. Let's try maybe 15. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, maybe more 20. And yeah, I think that's better. Um, yeah, so this is okay. So this is this is it. So if now if you tab, try tab select one of this family, and I think um, uh, let me try if I change this one to two meter. This will. Yeah, so it uh, looks like I only changed that one, so which is good. Instance, let's try. I'll just type in some random number. Okay. And then, yes. Okay, so it will only change this one, but I think it works. Right? So it works. So now we are going to try Dynamo. So let's go to uh, Manage and Dynamo. Okay, so, uh, quickly. <laughs> okay, so now this is it. So first, click on new and change it to menu. Okay, so first we need to select all the um, family. So it's it's under Revit selection, selection and all. Um, I think family types. Okay, so family types. You should be able to find this family. And all ele element of uh, family types. So this will show, give us. If I click on run, you, you should be able to see. See, that's all. That's all the the family we have, like one hundred and fifteen. And then we need to use set parameter by name. Set parameter by name. Okay. So and then we just connect connect to this. Uh, we will need four. So Control C, Control V. Control V and Control V for each uh, parameter. And here I'm going to uh, double click. So this these are the name of the parameter. Okay. And one and two and three and and four. And then we just need to link these two. All these uh, set parameter by name, no nodes. Okay, so and then we need um, some um, list of numbers that um, bet uh, between zero to one, and also we need to make sure it covers the the list, the number of the list um, cover this or the number of family. So. Um, Maybe we have two hundred. So let me, let me just try this. Double click from zero to one, every um, zero point um, point five. So let me click on run and see how many. Twenty one, not enough. Add another zero. So this will sh give us two hundred one. That should be enough. Okay. So a list of these numbers, and then we need to shuffle. Make them random, okay? So list, list, and for the seed, for the seed, uh, I'm going to use the um, integer slider. Integer slider, okay? So default one to one hundred. Default one to one hundred. Okay, so this is a list, one of the list. I'm going to select this, and oh, um, we can ah uh, yes. We can select this. Control C, Control V. So we have, we need four. Okay, and then we li link this list to value one, two, and three, and four. And I'm just going to change the number so they don't. They are, are all different. And I think that's all. So if I, if I click run, so uh, let me just. Um, Let's make it smaller. 
Okay, so I'll just move it to here. If I click on Run, so this should uh, change all these panels. So now you can see Revis generating, uh, uh, and this is it. Now you can see they are all random. Okay, so maybe I'll change the view. I'll just change the graphic setting. So maybe I'll turn on the shadow, so you can see it slightly um, better. So yeah. Okay. So now uh, what I we can do is change this one to automatic. And then if I change change any of these numbers, so if I click on this, change, change the number, so Brevet will, will automatically um, change this change change this uh, shape. Okay. And this, this is it. And also we have, we also have the heart, the offset. Um, uh, see here, which is also an instance instance parameter. So if you want to, you can also give give this a, a ran randomized uh, value if you want to. Okay, so it's very similar to. Oops, sorry, wrong one very similar to this basically just create another set parameter by name give it a, a, diff, a, a name name offset and create another list of number but this time instead of from zero to one so you you, you just need to set uh, uh, set the minimum size minimum offset and the maximum offset okay so um I think this is it. So this is very simple. I think I don't think uh, I need to save this and uh, for you. So you can probably just do it yourself. Um, I'll close this one. And for um, this family, um, yep, maybe I'll save this one so you can just have a look. And if you have any questions, please please uh, please let me know. And also just quickly. Um, just uh, so if you have any questions or suggestions please post into into this uh, this document uh, I've just cleaned up this file so there's not many page but yeah just add them uh, to the, the the end of this page and then I will get back to you and also if you um, let me just uh, Oh, sorry, I just need to find that link. Um, I'll quickly find my link and just type it here. Okay, here it is. So this is it. So if if you go to thread dot net so that's me so you should be able to find it. that's me and then that's the that's my channel the link for the channel this is the link for the shared document and also I post I've posted um, this Google Drive there where I save all the all the rabbit families here so if you yeah if you want to maybe just trying to find something some rabbit files so or they all the files here and then all these names if you look at the, those names you can just go back to my uh, channel and find that's the um, number of the video so you should be able to find them and also some some of these are using the the <laughs> just uh, uh, using the the date of that um, video so yeah can be tricky to find but it's all here it's all here okay so that's all um i'll see you next time thank you bye